Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Acquired Taste. It's your boy Gumby. I'm here with Rache and Bella and of course Joey. We're here doing a thing which is listening to music, reviewing some K-pop, K-hip-hop, K-R&B, K-music, uh, and uh, just giving our two cents. Today we're gonna start with Big Naughty Stat. Oh yeah, Big Naughty was in uh, tele Telefono? Mm -hmm. Telefono. Uh, Big Naughty Stad featuring EAJ. Uh, Big Naughty, born Seo Dong Hyun, June 2nd, 2003, age 18. He's a South Korean singer and rapper who debuted, debuted, shout out to that, bro, mm -hmm. under High Music in 2019. On November 18th of 2021, he released Stab, a single that features J, J A E Park, an American music, I'm sorry, American musician. Singer, songwriter, and composer born September 15th, 1992, 29, who was previously active as the lead guitarist and main vocalist of Day Six before leaving JYP Entertainment at the end of 2021. He is now active as an independent artist known as EAJ or J Backwards, okay? Uh, take the G sound from beige and add E in front of it. Eesh. Cool. Bro, you should just start with J. Okay. okay, it's too many J's. It says backwards. There's a lot of J's. Backwards component. Component. Each. Each. E A capital. I'm here for that. Right. It's different. Um. Okay. Uh, the song was uh, released the same day of the C C SAT exam. Uh, college scholastic ability test, gotcha. oh. which is the national Korean graduation examination. Awesome. Big Naughty was also one of the thousands upon thousands of students in South Korea who sat for the exam. STAB is said to be dedicated to the students who took the CSAT along with him, awesome. depicting the myriad of emotions students who students would experience in light of the examination. Cool. So the importance of the CSAT uh, is beyond comparison to similar tests taken in other nations. The anxiety that it causes students every November when at least 600,000 Korean students sit to take the exam that is only offered once a year is immense. Jesus. The eight hour marathon of exams covering six, su six subjects wrap roughly from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. No, hell no is the gateway to a South Korean student's future as the score either opens or closes the door to admission to a prestigious university and later a major company. Wow. The test grinds the country to a halt. Public and private companies start their work days an hour later to reduce traffic congestion and public transportation operates at shorter intervals and higher frequencies. To prevent noise, all construction workers come to a halt. Planes are prevented from taking off and military training Jesus. is stopped. Police clear paths for test takers and escort those running late to their test centers. The test causes so much stress that it is well known to negatively influence the mental health of students. Wow, it changes the whole shit. Well, that uh, was some backstory on why the test was important here for um, entire situation uh, for this video. So this is Big Naughty featuring each stab. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Wait, Big Naughty is 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pressure.
Definitely want to do one. I, want, I really want like the backstory for this. Right. Like, I mean, like, or like the continuation. I wanna I want a little more from this. But um with the explanation of the story it definitely makes sense um, of the direction that the story went. I really appreciated the uh, I really appreciated the shots. All the uh, like in the dark shots with like mm -hmm. the spotlight or in the shadow shots, those are really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, they really put some effort into like um, using camera effects and um, like you know post post editing effects. Uh, to really bring the idea of like loneliness and like you know being distant from people um, and like I like feel like you're like you know I guess like by yourself isolated in a sense uh, so I really got those feelings uh, and I really I really appreciate it uh, thank you um, Big Naughty for um, making a concise uh, story around a very real feeling mm -hmm. I appreciate that so um, yeah thumbs up for me that was mm -hmm. dope you can understand, like, it, I mean, granted, if you're not too far away from high school, you know, you can remember what that was like, um, but it definitely seems like this was on a bigger scale than the pressures that we had, or at least the pressures that I had, um, and it definitely seemed like, I mean, we talk about it a lot, mental health is kind of taboo in Korea anyways, where they don't really talk about it and they kind of ignore it, so, yeah, this is a very important song. Very relatable, you know, because we all go through it when, you know, we go through high school and stuff. Um, so, I liked it a lot. You could definitely feel the pressure and the, mm -hmm. um, like, the overwhelmness, or I don't even know if that's a word, uh, but the overwhelming feeling of, you know, like, this is an important thing, but I don't really want to do it, and I don't really know how I'm going to do good, and... I don't know if I'm gonna live a good life or a bad life or you know, it's yeah. You it's, can definitely feel the feelings. It's a, li a lingering feeling that's happening throughout the video. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But it was cool though. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the shots was really great. And then when Ish came in with his part, I was like, yo, this shit's fire. Mm -hmm. um, I liked his voice a lot. Uh, I like the the contrast of their voices mm. um, as well, but no, no, this is great, and I'm I'm glad that he, as at his young age, got to put this music out and let us know what these kids are going through and, mm. and how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, that was cool. Good stuff. Good mm-hmm. stuff. All right, we're gonna get into episode one, well, episode two. But the second song, <laughs> uh, and the second song for today is gonna be Psy. Ooh, Psy is that. Psy. That, that, that. He was like, I've been running a company, so. Yeah, right. Saying, <laughs> you know, my, my CEO, Mobile my Eight. We'll jump back in the booth. Uh, produced and featured by Sugar BTS. Uh, ah. Park J. Sang, or Song? Is it Sang or Song? Oh. Or, okay, song. Park J. Song. Born December 31st, 1977, since 77. Known professionally as Psy, is a South Korean singer, rapper, songwriter, and record producer that debuted, debuted back in 2001. In 2019, he founded his own company, P Nation, which houses the artists Jesse, Huna, Dawn, Crush, Highs, Panamico, Swings, and the upcoming boy group TNX. On April 29th, 2022, Psy released Psy Night, his eighth studio album. Awesome. The album is Psy's first release since his last studio album, which was released in 2017. Wow. It consists of 12 tracks, including the lead single, That That, which features and was produced by Sugar of BTS, Min Yoongi, uh, born March 9th, 1993. Nice. All right. Now, fun facts. Fun uh, facts. He was, Sugar was just supposed to produce the song, and then he went to the studio and he ended up featured on it, and then he went to set and he ended up learning all the choreo. <laughs> oh, I saw they put him in the video. Awesome. So I was like, he learned all the choreography in like a couple of hours, so. Yeah. Why not? That yeah, was it. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. And so when um when he came dancing. out, Sugar had put stuff on his story, like it like clips the thing, and then at the end of it, he was like, "I was just supposed to use my pen." <laughs> <laughs> All I was supposed to be used to. I love it. I and love it. What it's supposed to be is supposed to be. Uh, but artist. when the energy is right, when it works, it works. Right. I love his face so much. <laughs> it's so happy. Always. I can't. Now I'm back. <laughs> These fits are everything. Right, they're so cute. I love the outfits. This big heart, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
This is getting off the back though. Right, this, this shit is lit off. as fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do what you wanna. <laughs> this little light's so much fun though. Yes. Yes. That was great. <laughs> that was so fun. Dope. I'm adding that shit to my playlist. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, wake up. That's a good time. That's a really good time. That's a really good time. That's a basic, like, he, he just upped Gundam style to, like, the next yeah. level. Yeah, literally. For this generation. Next generation, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I was like, huh? this is Gundam style, but it's exactly. 2.0. This is, like, 2 healed. <laughs> like, we just, you know, living our best life. Like, it's, fuck all the nonsense. It's for this generation, yes, though. absolutely. I love that it, yeah, that this is awesome. Like, when they get back in the club, this is what they're gonna be. Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. Right. Cause that's what I'm like, never heard of this. They get side, oh, side, gun no style. Oh, 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 he's back. Yeah, he's back, bro. Like, oh my god. Yeah, right. it's like, yeah, exciting. Super exciting. That's yeah. beautiful. I'm loving when music becomes a message. Mm -hmm. Instead of it just being like, oh, like, you know, party, party, oh, you know, that kind of shit, like, or drugs, yeah. sex, whatever. Yeah. Like, I love when songs have messages mm -hmm. that are so important. Um, just like how we were talking about earlier, um, how we were talking about, like, Butter and Permission to Dance and, um, well, I'm already like, uh, yes, that era, whatever. Uh, Dynamite. Um, about how it's so positive. Like, I feel like the way things are now, music needs to be more positive. It needs to be more uplifting. It needs to be more relatable in the way where everything doesn't have to be shit. And even when it is like, like maybe like the depressing music, but I, I wouldn't really say depressing. I would say more relatable on the, you know, real life shit side. Um, I think this type of music is so important because it gives people an outlet and it makes it feel like like you believe in me like Sai is telling me do what you want to say what you want he believes in me you know instead of like a lot of the music that's you know still out here and stuff but I really appreciate artists who can actually make a difference with their music and I feel like this is going to be a song that really does make a difference for a lot of people right. Like, and then it was over. Can we go back to having fun now? Right. 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 We'll see. This is great. Get the side mm -hmm. back with another one. His face in the beginning gave me so much joy. Yeah. It's, it's like anxious. It's, it's beautiful. I'm back. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm out. I'm outside. I'm outside. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's safe now. This is great. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you're just supposed to do certain things in life, and so you know, when we need you back, you gotta yeah. come back with the energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just, you just you have, have the purpose energy there for that you. is needed. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Well, shout outs to um, the legendary side once again coming back. Um, oh, apparently, um, um, Axel Bobby in the Twitch says people think that Gundam Style was his only hit, but he was here since 2000. Now, as, as we know, mm. they said when he released Gundam Style, it was supposed to be his retirement hit. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, like in reality or just like people are reality. saying that? Yeah. So, really? he, so oh, wow. he had been, you know, he had been famous in Korea. Yeah. yeah. Since before, before internationally. And yeah. Sure. He was yeah. going to release Gundam Style so, as just like, all right, guys. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Right. And then it blew up. That shit. Blew up. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it came it over. It changed but, oh, the game. I got to do more. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, thank y'all for coming through. We appreciate y'all. Um, stay tuned for the next one and be easy. Bye. Peace.